Hello again, welcome back. Uh, so in the last video, we had prepared our database classes for the room database. And in this video, we're actually going to work on that room database. So at first, I'd like to introduce you. Uh, I've added these five fragments here uh, for, the, for the four different operations and one for choosing between those operations. So I'm going to show you each and every fragment, uh, uh, the code involved in it and you can just pause the video and then and then insert code as stated so inside add, uh, add user fragment so there's nothing but a layout inflated here so inside this layout i have uh, two edit texts uh, for inserting my values and a save button here okay and then let me go to delete fragment again there's nothing but an, an inflated layout here so inside this layout I've just inserted one edit text and then a button. The main fragment, again an inflated layout and inside this layout I have four different buttons for add, update, view and delete. Inside update fragment again I have a layout and inside this layout I have two edit text and an update button. Inside view fragment. I actually have a text view which which is not prepared actually so let me name it linear layout and the text will be set from java and just give an id so okay result so yeah that's it now what we need to do is we need to first initialize our database from our main activity all right so what we can do here is public static uh, app database we name it here app database so finally here app database equals to sorry app database equals to room dot database builder so we need a context that is this again a room database class which is app database dot class and finally a database name so we're going to give it user info uh, room database cannot be yeah, the operations inside the room database cannot be run run on main thread or the ui thread so here here we are not going to create a separate thread for that but we are going to allow it to run on main thread and then finally build So yeah, this is done. Also, I'd like to remind you that inside app database, in this class, I've extended extended this class to room database. All right. So yeah. Now in main now in main activity, sorry, in main activity, I'd like to declare fragment manager here. Static fragment manager. Yeah. Okay. This FM is going to be FM equals to get support fragment manager dot begin transaction dot add r dot id dot this is this is the id for our frame layout which we have not inserted all right so let's name it first and then we'll insert it a new main fragment finally we need a commit statement here okay we need a frame layout in our main main layout here that is activity underscore main so let's insert a frame layout match parent match parent and we can give it an id of frame that we have inserted earlier back in main activity okay there's something wrong here this should have been okay not commit So, okay, I should have initialized this earlier. So, FM equals to get support fragment manager, just this, and then FM dot begin transaction is going to work there. But at last, the commit statement, yes, commit is a function which is going to have those in closing and closing brackets. Now, According to our code, our app 
we will jump into main fragment here so inside main fragment as you can see we have four buttons four different buttons so here i can define these buttons for add view update and delete so inside let me override a new method that is on view created and define each of these objects here so view dot and user id r dot id dot mdtnr similarly for view you can view similarly for update it's going to be btn update and for delete it's going to be btn delete We can also place clicks on all of these buttons. Okay, this might have some confusion here. So let me name this like this dot view because we need to point it to uh, the upper view and not this view here. So the name is same, so it might get messed up there. Now, while adding, while we just click on our add button, we need to open our add user fragment. So for that, we already have a fragment and fragment manager in main activity. So we are going to use that main activity dot fm dot begin transition dot and replace because we have already added a fragment our dot id dot again a frame layout id and then new add user fragment. Also, if you don't want to save the previous fragment, instead we can add add to backstack null and then finally upon it. So yeah, now in this fragment, if we press our add button, our program flow is going to going to move to add user fragment. So inside this fragment, I have two edit text and a button, so I can define them. name user or email define each of them inside on, on you created so name is my edit text email is my mother edit text also I need a button here which is the one let me name it the one which is actually my save button or, or my add button I don't remember the id find view by id or dot id dot let me check it here the id i've used so it is save and btn save yeah so we can please click on our b1 then okay now what we need to do is we need to prepare our values before inserting into database while inserting into database we have this user class here uh, which which actually represents our table name or the other or fields inside them so we're going to use this exact class to prepare our values too so user user let me import this equals to new user and user dot set name is going to be name dot get text dot to string sorry to string and similarly user dot email set email is going to be email dot get text dot to string okay now i have to just call this app database object dot app database okay i might have done something wrong so let's go back to app database class here so okay yeah this was the case so inside this abstract method declaration, I should have used my interface, database access interface, and this would have done the trick. So I'm going to add user here, and then I'm going to pass the parent to user. So yeah, after this is done, I can show my toast. That is, let me give a context. A record. Add it successfully. And then uh, revert my fragment back to 
pakai my main fragment so main activity dot fm dot begin transaction dot replace again r dot id dot frame and then new main fragment so mm, okay this seems to be done so you can run your application and then and then click on add user and then save your data okay so in the next video we are going to view that data and edit it or delete it respectively thanks for staying with me in this video see you in the next one